Hey guys, RTT back here for that video. Guys, today Google announced something really interesting. It is called Android 12 L. Now, most likely we will see this on the Surface Duo 2 or the Galaxy Z Fold 3. We probably won't see this on the Surface Duo 1, but still it's a really, really cool thing. So this is actually Android 12, but made for foldable phones. So foldable phones also, of course, tablets small tablets whatever the case this is made for those exact devices now my guess would be that google is announcing this with again their google pixel fold coming out sometime soon this is probably what it's going to run with that being said though we never really talked about android 12 on the surface duo 2 just because again we always think we're probably not going to get that until way down the line with 12L now coming out, we might get this sometime soon because this is truly optimized for what the Surface Duo 2 actually is. So on large screen devices, the notification shade, which you see on the screen right here, uh, takes advantage of the space by showing quick settings and notifications and a new two column layout. The lock screen also uses a large two column layout to highlight notifications and clock system apps like settings are auto optimized. Google also focused on making key interaction easier on a large screen. For example, the large screen pattern and pin controls on tablets are now displayed on the side of the screen for easier reach. And the users can simply tap the other side of the screen to bring up pin size patterns controls over that side. For foldables, uh, Google optimized the home screen grid and polished the fold unfold transitions so users can more seamlessly from a ex single exterior display uh, to the larger unfolded screen, reinforcing while preserving their choices. 12L as a new taskbar that makes it easier to launch and switch apps on the fly. Gestures making uh, make using the taskbar even faster with drag and drop, entering split screen mode and swipe up to go home. In gesture navigate uh, navigation, a quick switch gestures lets users flip through recent apps. Users can reveal slash hide the taskbar at any time with long presses. Running apps in a split screen mode is popular way of multitasking, and in 12L we made split screen easier than ever to discover and use users uh can now drag and drop their favorite apps into split screen directly from the taskbar or they can use new split actions in the overviews to start splitting screens modes with a single tap Google's have improved Google has improved the UI for letterboxing by making number of options customizable by device manufacturers throughout overlay uh, configurations through overlay configurations for example device manufacturers can now configure app aspect ratios apply rounded corners to the app window and set the status bar transparency interesting to make it easier for people to find the best app experiences on the tablet, foldables, and Chrome OS devices, we're making a uh, changes to play to ch making changes in play to highlight apps that are optimized for the device. Uh, Google is planning to release 20 or oh, sorry 12L as feature drop in early 2022. So we're not getting this until 2022, but this is really freaking dope. And again, like I said, this is kind of, you know, might be what we see at the Google Pixel Fold and that being released around the same time period, late 2021, early 2022. This might be what we see the Google Pixel Fold actually run. So this is cool. And this is just pushing the narrative. What exactly we've been talking about for so freaking long now is that foldable phones is the future. They These are the future type devices. This is what we're going to see a lot more of as time goes on. We already know that Apple is working on the foldable phone. We already know Google has their uh, Pixel Fold they're working on. We have a lot of other different type of manufacturers coming out with their own iterations of foldable phones and i think this is going to continue until again like i said until this becomes this the mainstream thing i mean i don't know i mean is foldable phones gonna completely take over you know the candy bar type phones it's very possible and with more technology being invented with more things being optimized for these foldable phones this is going to really start working out a lot better and i will say this right so android 10 and android 11 i do love them on the surface Duo one surface Duo two but i kind of felt like this needed to be a thing and eventually i knew this would be a thing especially with how you know these phones have been selling especially galaxy z fold 3 so many people are buying these phones 
eventually i th i thought you know google would be like okay you know what we're gonna eventually come out with something that's optimized for these exact phones and that's exactly what ha is happening here while android 10 and android 11 are great they are not optimized for these phones they were not created for galaxy z Fold 3 or surface zero 2 they were created for a candy bar type phone like a galaxy s21 or a, a note 20 ultra so to finally actually see them optimized and created for what they're supposed to be created for this is actually a really cool system really cool everything so guys tell me down below your thoughts and opinions i will say i think it's really awesome i'm hoping we see even more advancements toward affordable phones and the software toward affordable phones in the near future and you guys watching i'll see you on the next one peace out